I see you. Yeah. Cool. Hi, everyone. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we're sorry we had to uh, delay all our sessions today. I hope uh, no one is, uh, you, everyone is still okay to join us and you're not too hungry. Uh, so this session is going to be quite short anyway. We just want to say thank you to everyone for joining us for staying with us uh, and for uh, participating as well, uh, audience being so engaged. And uh, yeah, I can see finally the last session. Yes, you, you reached it. Um, so I want to start from uh, uh, now uh, uh, introducing Chris Billy, uh, who is senior analyst in the Nostinibusha Trust, I believe. If, I think I lost my mind during this conference. Uh, and Chris is going to talk to us about NHS our community from his perspective, because Chris is chairing technical advisory group. So, Chris, over to you now. Thanks very much. Uh, let me just share my screen. One sec. Uh, Chrome tab. Here it is. And while yeah, Chris is sharing, we're all looking forward to see his cat as well. So watch this face for Yeah, some. there's no cat, I'm afraid. Sorry about that. I mean, I could go and wake her up, but that seems like animal cruelty. Um, right, yes. Yeah, so thank you very much. This is the real graveyard slot, isn't it? Because I'm between your lunch and the end of the conference. So I'm only going to talk briefly. Um, so. As Mohammed mentioned earlier in the week, so I am the uh, chair of the uh, technical advisory group. Um, so Mohammed's shoes, uh, as far as that goes, are extremely large. I think probably Mohammed's shoes are, given how tall he is, I suspect his shoes are literally as well as metaphorically large. Um, and so I don't, to be honest, feel fully capable of filling them. Um, and so I think over the next couple of months, I think I really want to make sure that we've got lots of people uh, contributing to that role. So I'll be talking more about that, I think, in the next few months with the technical advisory group to make sure that we've got a good uh, representation for everybody, because I don't think I can do justice to all Mohammed's work, um, even just with a, with a chair and a deputy chair. So uh, I just want to just a couple of uh, messages for you today. So the first one is I just wanted to just quickly talk about our studio. Uh, because I've been uh, I've had quite a lot of contact with them as other members of NHSR have. Um, for those of you who don't know, our studio actually is a public benefit corporation. Now, what that means is they're not just supposed to increase profit for their shareholders. They are allowed to uh, look at the public benefit of what they're doing. That's quite a recent development for them. So that's really nice. And I think that's probably one of the reasons why we have such a good relationship with them. And HSR has negotiated a pretty massive discount on some of their uh, products, not on all of their products, but for, on some of them. Uh, it is just for the NHS as far as I know, but if you don't work in the NHS, but you're part of NHSR, you could always ask. I'm sure they won't mind. Um, so as you probably know, I mean, they've they've had a great showing at this conference, obviously. Uh, so we can ask them lots of things. We have a very good to and uh, fro with them. So if you have questions for them, if you want them to do webinars, if you have feature requests, either for Tidyverse packages or for our studio professional products, anything like that, um, you know, that conversation, we can have that conversation with them. Uh, just tell them that we sent you. Uh, or get in touch with me or another member of NHSR and we can uh, facilitate those conversations. I think that could be very useful uh, for the community. So I know Mohammed talks about this very eloquently at the beginning of the conference, but I just want to just echo what he's saying, really. Um, so NHSR, as Mohammed said, is, is very like the NHS. So it's free at the point of delivery for analysts, I would say. That's how I would describe it. <clears throat> so we don't charge for training. We don't charge for software. We don't charge for mentoring code review. And we share, basically. So it's supposed to be that, you know, the, the, the price of entry to NHSR for an analyst is basically just, you know, turn up and join in. Um, NHSR obviously promotes the use of open source. That's the whole point of NHSR. But NHSR also promotes the sharing of code and data. And I think that's uh, a really important thing that we've heard about um, all throughout the week. Um, NHSR also promotes publishing under open source licenses. Now, any of you who've ever seen me probably in a meeting or anywhere ever will know this is something that I bang on about. And it's not particularly something that I bang on about because I went to university dreaming that one day I'd go to lots of meetings and bang on about it. It's something I bang on about because I think it's really important. Um, so, and there'll be more coming from NHSR. I would like to, um, and other bodies in the NHS as well, actually, we all need to work together on this, but I think we need to to uh, have a better understanding as, a, as, an, as an NHS community and as a, and the wider community about how we can collaborate and publish using open source license. I think that's really important. Um, and NHSR branded solutions will always be open source. So I think that's a good start. Anything that comes out under our name, the, the, the projects that we're undertaking will always be open source. And I think that's, uh, I think that's a good uh, entry point. So NHSR works across organizational boundaries. Um, so 
our activities are carried out with no preference or prejudice to any regional organization. As I say, there's no barriers, there's no price of entry, there's no nothing. You just turn up and join in. And I think that's a really powerful tool. And I think it's quite a powerful message actually to the, to the whole NHS really that I think we enshrine, others do as well. Um, but I think we're, that's something that we're really good at. And something else that NHSR is all about for me is it's a community. So we do recognize our members. We have members who are very experts and who um, give a lot of time and a lot of expertise to the or to the community. And we recognize them. But in NHSR, anybody can be a leader. Um, so and that's absolutely evident throughout the conference and, and throughout all, all of what's going on the last time uh, in the, it, since, its, it, since its foundation. So we have a book group, we have mentoring, we're trying to look, uh, look at um, shiny implementations of uh, SBC charts. We did Hacktoberfest this year, and I'm sure we'll do it again next year. There are various hackathons mooted and there's no, again, just turn up, get a crowd of people around you and off you go. And I think that again is also a very powerful message. Um, so normally, if, if this was real life, I would pause um, and wait for the polite chuckle when you notice the pun in the slide. But I can't do that because I can't hear or see you. So I'm going to make a meal of this because it's the pun of my entire career. Fellowship of the R-ing. Um, so, yes, we have a fellowship program, as was outlined earlier in the, in the week. Um, we are adding senior fellows. Uh, many of our fellows will become senior fellows. Um, and we would like to accept contributions. We would like to grow our membership of fellows, uh, champions and associates. And so what are the sort of things that we're looking at? So what can you contribute as a member of NHSR? So you can contribute time and energy. There are things like user groups. There are things like doing training. You can contribute code. So you can open up your code. You can open up your data. You can spend time building synthetic data sets. Um, you can... Uh, spend time on hex time projects you can set up a hex time project you can turn up and work on a hex time project you can exchange things with each other on hex time you can give your knowledge so you can give your knowledge in the form of webinars in the form of blogs in the form of mentoring in the form of training and something else that we really want in nhsr is your voice so we want you to promote nhsr and we want you to promote the values of nhsr and using open source and publishing open source and sharing and cooperating and all the things that we all believe uh, everywhere you go. And as I say, people who know me in other contexts will know that I certainly uh, try and um, bring this up as much as I can without boring everyone to death, which I perhaps don't always succeed at. Um, so don't be shy, send an application. I suspect probably some of you are too shy and we'll have to pluck you out of the ground because we recognize your expertise and you haven't made an application, but don't be shy. Send an application to the, to the community. Just tell us what title you're applying for. Just tell us what you've done. Uh, tell us what you will do as well. That's really important. We want to understand, you know, where this is going for you and also why the title is important to you, you know, why the community is important to you and, and, and know what, what it all means. And uh, we will collate all the applications and they'll be reviewed uh, by the technical advisory group. So I just want to finish by um, thanking everyone. So I want to thank everyone who came to the conference. I want to thank everyone who asked questions. I want to thank all the presenters. I want to thank, thank all the mic controllers, the facilitators, the slackers, the tweeters, everybody communicating all the way through the conference. That's a really important part of any, any conference. I want to thank the whole of NHSR for existing and for being brilliant. I want to thank Mohammed, without whose, um, I can't even describe his leadership, sort of calm and, uh, yes, it's, it's, it's hard to describe, but uh, it's, it's been a vital force to get us all to where we are. Uh, and the person I want to thank most of all is Anastasia, who I've seen her multiple times through this week, and she's always looking very frazzled. And she's been working through this week, through the workshops, and before that as well, and uh, has made it really, really, really very smooth, very seamless, and very, very, very professional. And here we are. Here are the slides. So here's me. So do drop me a Slack, find me on Twitter, drop me an email or uh, find the NHSR community on email or on Twitter. And I'll now hand over to uh, Anastasia. Uh, thank you, Chris. Uh, it sounded like the end, but we still have a few things to mention. So first of all, you should hopefully all see call for action below. So you can go to Menti, please. Um, link is in chat and also call for action. And you can also go to menti.com and uh, enter code 24 33112. Uh, please, please, please leave your feedback. Um, I'm not going to go through this in many details, but I just, uh, we can just start going through this, hopefully. 
Uh, you can see everyone, yeah, you can see how people uh, started um, already evaluating the form. Uh, yes, technology faltered us a bit today, uh, but it was really good before. And if you have any actual comments, uh, you know, any details feedback, please send us uh, using email address Chris just mentioned, which is nhs.rcommunity uh, at nhs.net, um, and uh, let us know what you could do better. Uh, also, uh, I know people already started feeling this as well. Uh, I absolutely love uh, it, that uh, our biggest word is, I guess, inspiring and informative. I think this is what we tried to achieve, and we are so pleased we actually achieved it. Also, we are brilliant. Well, good to hear. And fascinating and friendly. Uh, and friendly is what our community is all about. Uh, also, um, we have question what we can improve. Uh, yes, breaks, uh, we will try to keep it online, we will try to look at the subtitles as well, uh, because I know uh, we didn't do this this year. Um, and the uh, favorite thing, okay, so we have a virtual everywhere, keep it virtual, I hope, I guess the same person uh, said it everywhere. Uh, Albert Akira was brilliant, our studio were brilliant, lots of great talks, talks and talks again. And uh, I'm not sure, yes, I believe this last slide, um, Okay, so this is really interesting. So I hope everyone will go to the slide and vote. And we also share link with participants who already left us today. Uh, so brilliant. Uh, it's good to know that we might go online again. Uh, cool. Uh, so, and uh, I know everyone is tired and I can see people started dropping out, but I just had one message because unfortunately, uh, Mohammed couldn't be here today. Uh, I mean, he was here today, uh, but he had to leave earlier. Um, that's why I'm just sharing my screen once again, just to say a huge thank you to everyone who is in our community. And as you all know, our community is not exclusive. There is no fee, there is nothing like you don't have to do anything to be in the community. You just have to say hi on the Slack, on Twitter, everywhere, and just participate in our events. So this is our journey so far. And you can see how we, well, we really grew, didn't we, uh, all the way from January 2018, so we are almost three years old. We had uh, Twitter hit our first thousand in July 2019, first train the train last year. Our conference keep doubling numbers every year, which is very, very inspirational and uh, very uh, amazing to see and hear. Also, um, as Chris said, please keep in touch with us. I know that we might have trouble seeing the end of the screen, uh, but yes, we would love to hear from you on various social media. We are now also on Hexi time, and uh, John Lodge uh, wants to be here today, but again, he couldn't uh, join, unfortunately. So uh, he sent us a few messages. Uh, yes, we have partnership now, and Hexi time is always here to support not just our members to share skills and use their time bank. Uh, engagement so far was absolutely fantastic, and uh, uh, we are really hope that it will stay the same. Uh, please stack all your activity on Hexa time using NHSR wishing well. And also there are NHSR community budgets available. Uh, so please contact John if you want to have this. Uh, Nicholas Owen, if you're still here, just a quick reminder, you are a thousandth member of Hexa time and you have a price of 10 credits. Uh, Chris Maney has a lot of offers, so please check it out on Hexa time. And uh, there are also generous offers from uh, Tom, Jemet, Robert Smith, uh, Luca uh, Valnegri, I hope I pronounced your name right, uh, Zoe Turner, Chris Billy, and Paula Perella. Um, so thank you, thank you, thank you from John. Uh, please have a look on our website. Um, you can see links to webinars, uh, to recordings, and to future events. Uh, we also have book club. Uh, so please join if you can, information on Slack, and hope now, every hope now everyone knows how to use Slack. Uh, Shiny training in November. I know it's been fully booked, but you still can uh, join waiting list. Uh, our webinar uh, is on third Wednesday of each month, and next one is 25th of November. Um, we plan more training because we know how much uh, everyone wants to have training. So please watch the space. And uh, oops. Uh, thank you all. Yes, uh, Krista, thank you to everyone. And I'm saying it's all. It's, you know, biggest credit should go to you. Uh, you're all participants, you engaged, you were very active, and I can see uh, people still chatting a lot. Um, and you can see the map, you're also from all over the world, which is absolutely amazing. And it's a huge difference compared to first um, uh, year. And message from Mohammed, uh, the NHSR community should allow all to shine and reach for new stars. Uh, and on this note, I think it's very good note to actually finish now. 
Uh, I'm closing, I'm stop sharing my screen and uh, I'm not sure there are any questions. Uh, there's a question to Chris. Can you say anything about guitars, Chris? Uh, that one that you can see is a very old, cheap one, actually. I have got a nice one in the case over there. Uh, maybe come to a workshop or something sometime and I'll, maybe I'll play a tune. Uh, brilliant. And yes, uh, Caroline, as I said, there is no application form. Uh, so yes, just uh, just email us with any questions. And I guess this question possibly was about fellows or uh, associates. So yeah, just mail us and we will speak to you. Uh, on this note, I really don't want to press end broadcast because I enjoyed it so much, but I think it's time has come. Uh, so I will see you all later. Please keep in touch. Uh, please fill the Mentimeter uh, feedback form and please come to our events. Goodbye all and have a lovely weekend.